Hi, in this video I'd like to show you these really cool prehistoric agricultural fields that we discovered in the Robledo Mountains. I've known about these for a while, but this is our first trip out to see them on the ground. They're here on the east slope of the Robledo Mountains on this broad fan. Hi, it's Arky 3. We're back out here in the Robledo Mountains. We're down here in the lower part of the fan where there's a bunch of agricultural features. Might not be able to see it very well here, but there are some rock alignments, basically canals, little ditches running everywhere out here. So I'm going to walk across this and show you some more as I discover it. So when you're out here, these contour fields don't look like much. It's real subtle. You can see the little mounds and alignments of rocks. The satellite photos pick it up a lot better under certain lighting conditions. The reason it's easier to see in these satellite photos is those black lines are actually lines of creosote bushes. So you have to look for the lines of creosote while you're out there. So what you have is a field that kind of steps down real gradually and has these little berms that have lines of creosote and concentrations of rocks on top of them. Once you start looking for those patterns while you're out there, you'll see alignments of rock, alignments of creosotes. So as you walk across this, as I walk across this, you can see this is all real old. Creosote growing all over it. This isn't something done recently. Not even within the last 100 or 200 years. This is a lot older than that. It takes a long time for the desert to erode and grow over again. Once it's been disturbed, it stays that way for a long, long time. When you zoom back out and you look at this fan, you realize that it's all agricultural, that there's lines of creosotes across the whole thing. It's just this one area is more highly developed than the rest.
that sperm, maybe a little ditch running across the field, carry water down. A lot of rocks appear to be kind of piled up. Markers or uh, a way of doing agriculture. Moisture stays under those rocks, so you plant around the rocks. row after row. Another nice berm marking the edge of this field. Keep all the water in here. Then up here at the top of the field you have a couple of ditches that run across the contour here. Divert water into different parts of the field. They show up really well on the aerial. Not so much on the ground. There's some skeet growing here, probably where there's a little bit of a ponding area. At this point, we're down here at the southernmost dark spot where there's a reservoir, and I just looked at that mesquite. We're going to follow the canal up towards the north. Follow this ditch around. After the recent rains, you can see how these carry the water. How much vegetation there is growing around this area. 
as it's still function. Second ditch. Now we're up here farther north. When you take these satellite photos and you adjust the colors, it not only brings out some of the detail, but it shows that the soil is actually different colors. And that they were doing a lot of this on purpose to create art. Different satellite photos show different things. Sometimes a darker satellite photo brings out more color. They could have grown different flowers and weeds and grasses, different plants on these agricultural fields to create all these different patterns and to make this art. And this I believe shows somebody defecating because they would have needed fertilizer for these fields. So we walked down across this field again and all the way back up. This time as you watch the video, look for these patterns in the rocks and on the ground. Yeah, looks like the end of the line.
So take one more look at the patterns in the satellite photos and then we're going to walk one more time up to the west end of the fields where those canals are and that'll be the end. There's another berm on the north side of the field, defining the edge. may look like a road, but this is an old prehistoric feature. Oh, here we are back at the west end of the field system. Through these two ditches that run along this upper part. You can really see this now. How well defined this ditch is. That's it for these fields. We're going to head up towards this pyramid peak a little ways. I'm not going to go all the way up there today. So there you go, a really interesting prehistoric agricultural field right here outside of Las Cruces, New Mexico. I don't know if anybody knows this is here, but I'm finding fields like this all over in southern New Mexico. I have two videos already from the past where I went over all these agricultural features across southern New Mexico, so you might want to look at those.